Hey everybody, welcome back to Aaron's Custom Prints Garage Print Shop YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over cleaning screens. Check it out. Alright, so what we're going to be doing here is first we want to scrape the ink off our spatula. Just scrape it right back into the bucket. We're using an 8 inch ink spatula here. And then once we get it all you know, mostly off of there. We're going to take our squeegee and just scrape the ink off the squeegee right back into the bucket. Go back for another pass. Right back into the bucket. Sides, bottom, other side. Squeegee's uh, clean enough for now. We're not doing a how to clean a squeegee video here. So, let me go put this up and I'll be right back to finish. Alright. So, once again, 8 inch ink spatula here. A lot of people like to use ink cards, old business cards that went wrong, stuff like that to clean their screens. To me, that's just an unnecessary expense, another hassle. You already have ink on your spatula. Just use the spatula. The 8 inch ones, they bend well, so that's all you gotta do is just go like that, scrape it all the way around, dump it back in the bucket. Do it again. Back in the bucket. Do it again. Back in the bucket. The idea is to get as much of this off here as possible. So I'm going to go one last time and just really get in there. I hope you bumping the camera didn't just mess it all up. Back in the bucket. Alright. There we go. That's the majority of the ink right back in the bucket. No extra tools, no extra effort, just that. So now we're going to go get our our cleaning supplies all right so what we're gonna do now is I've got my spray bottle filled with the core chem pro wash press and screen wash and we're just gonna spray it down and wouldn't you know that of course I start the video and I can't find any rubber gloves so I'm just gonna use this this bag the important part is to just not get the chemicals on your hands. So for the sake of the video, I have my paper towels already sitting right here. We're just gonna take the paper towel in half and just start rubbing it around. Working it into the ink. Get it all evened out. Put the paper towel and just start rubbing it up. going to take you a few paper towels, especially depending on the ink color. The higher the mesh count screens, they just clean a lot easier than those lower mesh count screens. So, I'm going to hit that one more time. pretty good for now those little holes I like to come back with a screen opener not necessarily citrus but a screen opener I like to spray it on this side lift the screen up spray it a little on the, the back side and then come back with that paper towel I like to start from the bottom this time and really get that ink out of the little holes there. Come back on top. Wipe it out. Pretty much the only way to know that you're done is when there's no more ink coming off on the paper towels. It's 
still got a little bit on there. Come back in one more time with a little bit of screen opener and uh, just make sure we get it out of them holes really good. Starting from the bottom again, really kind of working that ink out of there. Still got a little bit. I think we're going to get on this last pass. Looks good. Alright, now to seal the deal, I like to come back with some rubbing alcohol. Kind of get the chemicals off the screen because if you leave the chemicals on the screen it will deteriorate your screen faster so just to extend the life of the screen come back and wipe all those chemicals off with the rubbing alcohol as you can see it's got more purple on there too clean screen ready for the shelf all right guys thanks for tuning in this is Aaron from Aaron's custom prints garage print shop YouTube channel I hope you learned something today it's not that hard to clean a screen but you know if you're new to it you're gonna have questions so I hope we helped you out with that tune in next time you can find us at www.aaronscustomprints.com or on Facebook forward slash Aaron's custom prints and, uh, you know, drill, like, subscribe, share. See you next time.